Hello and welcome to the Workplace Safety Training, Addressing Safe Practices in Clinical Laboratory Environment. In this module, our focus will be on discussing hygiene practices tailored for laboratory workers, with a particular emphasis on medical technologies. Today, we'll explore the essential elements for ensuring hygiene among laboratory workers in our session. According to the World Health Organization, hygiene refers to the conditions and practices that help to maintain health and prevent the spread of diseases. In terms of medical applications, hygiene can be categorized into two types, personal hygiene and laboratory hygiene. Now we are going to discuss about personal hygiene. Thorough hand washing with soap and water for at least 20 seconds is an essential component of maintaining optimal cleanliness in the laboratory and is considered a fundamental aspect of good laboratory practice. Utilizing personal protective equipment, in short PPE, including head cover, eye goggles, mask, apron, gloves, and shoe covers is crucial. Ensure cleanliness by wearing regularly cleaned and suitable clothes, both for laboratory specific use and everyday wear. Promote hygiene by regularly trimming nails and refraining from using fake nails or nail polish to prevent microorganism accumulation. Prevent contamination by using dedicated laboratory shoes and employ shoe covers inside the laboratory. Strictly avoid smoking, drinking, chewing or eating within the laboratory premises to reduce associated hazards. Utilize 70% ethanol based hand sanitizers for regular hand sanitization effectively minimize the risk of infections. Now we'll observe the hand washing demonstration following the guidelines outlined by the World Health Organization. Now we'll discuss about laboratory hygiene. To maintain a hygienic environment, it is crucial to perform regular mopping of the laboratory floor. Utilize effective cleaning agents like Lysol, Dettol, or sodium hypochlorite solutions during the cleaning process. Regularly inspect and clean laboratory equipment to uphold cleanliness standards. Proper maintenance and cleaning of equipment contribute to a sterile working environment. Acknowledge washrooms and toilets as potential breeding grounds for harmful organisms. Implement a routine cleaning and disinfection schedule to mitigate the risk of transmission. Maintain proper ventilation to ensure a healthy atmosphere within the laboratory. Adequate airflow helps prevent the buildup of contaminants and promotes a safe working environment. Ensure easy access to first aid kits within the laboratory. Strategically position these kits to facilitate immediate response in case of accidents or emergencies. Strictly follow SOPs for the systematic and timely disposal of laboratory waste. Proper disposal procedures are crucial to prevent the accumulation of waste as a potential source of infection. Now let's revisit and reinforce certain key components covered in the previous lesson to recall and solidify our understanding, aiding in the retention of our learnings. Now we will watch how to put on and remove PPE safely.
to safeguard against contamination from various samples such as blood and body fluids, proper protection measures must be taken. The lab coat should be well fitted to the body for optimal protection, ensuring discomfort and irritation are avoided during laboratory work. Similarly, gloves should be of an appropriate size to prevent the spread of contamination. The choice of mask depends on the nature of work. N95 respirators are necessary for handling suspected COVID-19 or tuberculosis specimens, while surgical masks suffice for regular tasks. To safeguard against nasal droplets generated during swab collection, it is important to wear both eye goggles and a face shield. This precaution is particularly crucial due to the likelihood of patients experiencing itching and coughing during the nasal swab and throat swab collection process. Wearing eye protection such as goggles and a face shield acts as a barrier, preventing respiratory or nasal droplets from contaminating the face and nasal area of the individual conducting the procedure. This additional protective measure contributes to maintaining a safe and controlled environment, reducing the risk of exposure to potentially infectious materials. Wearing dedicated laboratory shoes not for outdoor or restroom use is essential. The option of disposable shoe covers can further enhance safety for laboratory workers. Wearing dedicated laboratory shoes is important because it helps prevent the spread of contaminants be between different areas. By having separate shoes specifically designed for laboratory use, individuals can minimize the risk of carrying potential harmful substances or pathogens outside of the lab environment. The use of personal protective equipment, in short PPE, is of utmost importance in various aspects of laboratory work. It serves as a critical shield protecting against contamination and preventing respiratory exposure, thereby ensuring occupational safety. Compliance with regulations not only upholds industry standards, but also contributes to safeguarding personal and community health. Particularly crucial during pandemics, the diligent use of PPE aids in risk reduction, maintaining the integrity of the laboratory and fostering employee confidence and well-being. The multifaceted role of PPE is integral to creating a secure and health-conscious work environment in laboratory settings. In summary, emphasizing hygiene in a medical laboratory is essential for a safe and efficient work setting. Stringent cleanliness practices, correct utilization of personal protective equipment, and protocol adherence prevent contamination, shield against respiratory exposure, and guarantee occupational safety. We'll come back soon with our upcoming sessions on workplace safety training series for safe practices in clinical laboratory environments. Stay tuned for valuable insights and practical tips to ensure a secure and productive work environment. Thank you.